Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another long awaited or action packed episode of Chris the Butcher. Oh friends. Now, I say long awaited because this is the first time I've picked up the camera in five days. It will be five days. I know I've got the Ultenic thing there that was up four days ago when this comes up. Uh, but I recorded that previously. So five days I've not picked up a camera because I've been rough as toast. And I mean rough as toast. The other week, well, that was it last week? Yeah, at the beginning of last week, uh, I woke up and I had a lump and my face had swollen up here. And I thought it was my glands. Uh, went to the doctor, got some antibiotics. And it, it went, and that went, but then I developed a, a ulcer, a lump in my gum here. It was massive, it was sore, and the infection went up my face, into my eye, into my head, and honest to God, it knocked me for six. The only thing I could do was get up, go to work, come home and go to bed. There was no way I was picking up a camera the last five days because I was rough. Uh, I felt a little bit better yesterday, but I had to because I had to go and do a castle with Lou. And... Uh, Today I feel a lot better, it's still there, it's still sore, the side of my mouth still a little bit numb, but I've had this beauty here. It is pork luncheon meat, right? You go to a greasy spoon and you see a piece of spam and it's round, that is what that is. So, I've got a big tin of spam, they call it spam, to me it's spam. If I eat it on a full English breakfast, it's spam. Spam, spam. Uh, I've got some uh, Henderson's relish, which people keep telling me to get, so I've got some. Uh, some Corbin's mustard, some honey, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're having honey mustard glaze spam. <laughs> beauty right obviously i am not gonna cook a full four pound tin of pork lunch at me slash spam uh i'm gonna cut half of it for a joint and uh i will uh slice the other half for slices for breakfast and stuff like that but essentially that's it can we go back a bit it's a bit you can't really get ah there we are let's cut that back a bit right i can't really get in here but I think half there, yeah. Bang. I'll put that away for slicing. And that there is going to be our, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We'll take a slow sliver off the bottom, like that. So it sits in the roasting tin like that, dump roll. And that is my, uh, that's my goodies. Mmm. Does that anyone else like eating cold spam? Not cooked. If you haven't, try it, because I'll tell you what, it's next level shit. Right, I don't know how long this is going to take to cook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Then I'm going to make, well, and while that's doing that 25 minutes, I'm going to make up a mustard, honey mustard marinade. But, you do. You, I know it's a spam, and why are you scoring it, Chris? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just hoping it helps the the marinade, uh, the glaze stick to it better. We will find out together, won't we? Honey and mustard, glaze spam. Right, coming in the oven. Uh, next time you see it, it'll have been in there on one eighty for twenty five minutes. And uh, we'll be glazing it with uh, the honey mustard glaze that you're going to see me right now. Knock up. Right. That spam is on its first run of 25 minutes. I think I'm going to do four of these. So it'll be about an hour, and, an hour, an hour and 25 minutes long to cook. Bear in mind it is spam. I don't want it to, you know, 
I don't think it'll need much cooking. But on the first one, I want to get the glaze ready. And uh, we're going in with, uh, I think we're going with a couple of teaspoons of this. I can't, I'm really struggling. But it is proper good old English mustard. We get that on then there. Mmm. Mmm. Get too much of it, it goes right down your sinuses. <laughs> and it burns back in your throat as well, lad. Right. Uh, honey. About three times as much honey as you put in mustard. I might have to make some more of this up. It doesn't matter if I do. And uh, the Henderson's Radish, I just smelt that now and it... I can't believe I've never had this before. This smells divine. Absolutely divine. It says on it, try it on cheese on toast. Thank you, Henderson's Radish. I'll do that. Right, let's mix this up. I have got a little uh, basting brush for the, uh, the painting process, but... Uh, It's gone a bit black, hasn't it? I think that Henderson's relish has overdone it a bit. <laughs> Come on, mustard, get off the spoon. Right, I'll crack on here, but the next time you see this shot, ooh, Henderson's relish, ooh, that's nice. Uh, I'll be putting that on that ham, spam, poor luncheon meat, whatever the fuck I've got in the oven. That has been 25 minutes, and if you ask me, uh, it's looking nearly cooked but I guarantee you it'll still be cold in the middle so now we start painting it with our honey and mustard glaze now this is at this point you don't be shy do you know what I mean like I said if I have to knock up some more I will knock up some more I'm going to go around the edges as well and the, ed and the, the side the ends should I say let's come walk right uh, sponsored walk right Remy tripod Get that in. This should absolutely be epic. And why not? Right. I've changed my mind. I'm going to do that for 15 minutes. And then we're going to baste it again. See you in 15 minutes. Well, it's been 15 minutes. So in total, it's been 40 minutes. And uh, there it is after 40 minutes. 15 minutes with the uh, glaze on. Uh, I'm, this is not standard. I just put a, put a bit of water in the bottom of there because I don't want that burning and destroying my pan. Right, that's all that is for. Right, right. We're going to have our second glaze. This is right now smelling absolutely superb. By the way, I don't think it's going to need much more cooking. I've got to be honest, but it's not looking. It's, it's starting to look like a piece of ham, isn't it? Not reformed ham. You know, got his life on track and then got slaughtered. <laughs> uh, I'm still having to walk around my tripod. My tripod is massive. I want it, I should get one of them GoPros and stick it to my thod, shouldn't I? Right. I think we'll get another dash it on there. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to run it for another 15 minutes. And then we'll see where we're up to. Because it's not going to take much more than this. I'm telling you now. Right, 15 minutes, I'm gonna paint it again. Right, we're going for our last basting. Now, I did it for 25 minutes, I did it for 15 minutes, make, makes it 40 minutes. I'm gonna go for the last bit of basting. I'm also gonna drop a bit more water in the bottom of there, because you know why? Because that will make an excellent juice to pour on whatever you're doing. I'm gonna do this for chips and beans. You're not going to see that, you're just going to see this, because there's no point in seeing chips and beans. We're here for this, aren't we? We're here for the honey glazed spam. And I've got that much left. I had just enough, so I'm just going to give it a right good basting. Use all this, now what I've got left. Just make sure I get it all used up. And hopefully, there's going to be enough juice in the bottom there. I can tip it on my chips, or mix it in my beans. Oh! Imagine mixing it in your beans. <laughs> right, I'm going to use all this now. Might as well get it all poured on. Look at that goodness there. You can't see from your hand, can you? You can, just about. Get it all out of the bowl. There we are. As you can see, the bowl needs to be licked clean. Right, I'm going to leave that thick as anything on there. 
get that in the sink, bang that in for 20 minutes now, and then it should be done. Right, see you in 20 minutes. Ooh, ooh no, I spilt it. It's been a full hour, 60 minutes, two half hours, and there it is, my honey and mustard glazed spam. Look at that. That smells and looks fabulous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of that tin. I'm going to rest it for about 25 minutes. It's spam. Do you need to rest spam? I don't know. We're going to find out. I think we should do. Just let it, the residual heat to cool down and stuff. So I'll get out of that tin. Get that in a, a jug or something. And uh, we'll cut into it in about 25 minutes and slide it down my gizzard. Well, it's been rested and I think we should cut into it. It looks like a glazed ham, doesn't it? And essentially it has got ham in it, pork in it, I suppose. You know. Anyway, let's get a slice off. We get the, uh, the end slice off. Oh, there we are. It's gone right through. Oh! You can't see it. That is a slice of honey glazed spam. Can you see it there? Look at that. Look at that. Do you know what? Sod it right now. Let's just cut a piece off. And get it down me gizzard. Ooh. Mm. My God, that is good. You've got your spam taste, but you've got the the sweetness, sweetness of the honey. It's, Honest to God, this this is a game changer. And you've got like the edges have crisped up like it's got rind on it. Mm. Oh god. You know what? Have you tried something or anything in your life? Try that. Because that is absolutely orgasmic. Mm. Oh god. I'm going to take that to bed. Right. I wasn't going to do, but you know what? I'm going to show you my tea with the chips and beans dished up with it. Well, there is my actual tea. My honey glazed, honey and mustard glazed spam with beans which actually i put i cut the beans in the juices from the pan and uh fries actually fry i thought it was chips but the fries but it doesn't matter does it that is one banging tea and uh obviously i've i've, I've tried the spam that's what we're here for you don't need me to try the fries which are on the floor i'm like a wal walrus i'm gonna Hang on. Three year rule. Four is clean. <laughs> Chips, fries are super. I bought them from Tesco's. Bag of fries for about £1.9. Cheers from it. Beans are there. I've still got some beans left. I cut them in a, a big raft of them juices from the pan that I cut the spam in. And you know what? All in all, all like I said before in one of the last videos, all I can hear is loop or one man band on a plate. It's like you're making a tune. You know them flicking them there, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right, honey, honey and mustard glazed spam slash pork lunch of meat. Absolute banging. I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, 
sharing all your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CT. B. When I fucking love you.